Hey YouTube, it's Engine 6 here. Uh, just wanted to show you something new today. Besides whistling and flying planes. Uh, this is my foreign money collection, of which I've collected over the years. Um, as well as my foreign coins, as I've not sorted out most of it. But, alright, well let's get started. Uh, some of these I think are really cool. None of these are exchangeable at the moment. Um, but anyway, so you've got the... Lampiras from Honduras. And this is what the back of them looks like. And they're pretty plain. They're alright. And you've got Guatemala, which is one of the coolest notes I've got. You've got Quetzales. That's the back of it. One of the beautiful uh, notes. It is the same size as American US dollars. Then you've got, I'm uh, moving on to Bank of England. You've got 11 pounds here. So what the front, the back of it looks like. Got the England of five pounds here, and another one here. This is Bahrain, I believe, somewhere in. I'm not entirely sure, but these look like they're using dinar. Dinar. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um. Looks like Arabic or something, Middle Eastern. Got 20 of them here. And you've got Uganda. Um, Uganda, they use shillings. So you've got 10,000 shillings here, 20,000 more here. And then there is also these coins. So this is what their shillings look like. I can get it, maybe, I can't get it to focus, but that's okay. Um, so that's what the coins look like. And then you've got Vietnam, Vietnamese dong. <coughs> These were given to me by a soldier, um, or one of my sister's soldiers, platoon. Um, these are worth less than a dollar, but anyway, you've got that little plastic film here. There's the back. There's the front. There's the back. I also forgot to show you the front and back of the shillings. Got that security strip on there. All right, and then we're moving on to Ukraine. Rudivna, as they call it, or Google likes to call it Ravnia, but it's hard to know. Um, I was originally born in Ukraine, and so I went to Ukraine this last summer to see my relatives. But anyway, so you've got uh, uh, two hard of note banknote here. There's a the front, there's a the back. Pretty cool. It's a famous church over in Kiev. These ones are currently discontinued, so they've come out with a new 20, which I'll show you here in a little bit. That's a blue famous house in Ukraine. We've got the 10 Hrdevna banknote. There's the back. I've got a little rip in it, sad. Um, we've got the ones here. You can see that's Ukrainian, um, that is what they call Cyrillic, so Ukrainians use Russian or the Cyrillic alphabet. That's another one. Is there five heard of the banknotes, which are the blue ones. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go down to these tens, I guess, yep. Um, I've got some more fives over here. Anyway, got the more tens. I'm not entirely sure. Got three of them here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure the reason for the uh, different. Uh, there's different characters. And see how this is a ten. And then they've got this guy on the ten. I'm not sure why. Maybe just years. 
Then you've got the other 20 here. Uh, that, that is your coat of arms or their symbol. That's the back of it. Got another two here. Front, there's the back. Uh, I believe actually. Yeah, that one says Ukraine. That was Polish for a second. Polish are usually this size. And then you've got the other fives here. So compared to these fives, it looks like you've got. Yeah, they're blue, but they are different sizes. And the reason for different sizes of these banknotes is for the blinds, so that they can tell which banknote they have. Unlike US dollars, we have the all the same sizes, which would, again, that size, they've got the ones. So a blind person would be able to know whether it got a one, a five, 10, 20, 50. And so, as far as Ukraine goes, we have, or they have the order of the 1s, 5s, 10s, 20s. I believe they have 50s and 100s. And then they're going up to 1000s, I believe. Alright, so there's my uh, banknote collection. Well, let's move on to the coins. Um, these coins here I haven't sorted yet. There's some cool ones. There's like some shillings and half crowns from, um, looks like, unsure of probably English or something. Got francs from Switzerland. Not sure what these guys are from. Um, Australia. Ah, Australia. I've got the US dollar. Here. And then other coins we've got are going to be these here called cent teams. And if I'm correct, these might be from Greece. Um, somewhere in Greece or Rome. Looks like it has a sort of design on there. We've got the Euros. Got a lot of them here. Whenever we travel, we always pick some up. Got the 2 euro, 20, I believe these are cent euros, yeah, so you've got the 50s, 20s, and 10s in there. You've got pens here from, it looks like, uh, possibly English again. I'm not sure what countries use pens yet. I'll have to look it up. These are our Canadian uh, loonies, this is what they have for the dollar coin, and then they have cents and dollars like we do. And then, let's see if I already got the cent teams, and then I've got these Mexican pesos here. Went to Mexico, I believe, a couple summers ago. I have them in little bags, I'll have to put them in paper envelopes because it's not good to put them in bags as they will erode. These are more Ukrainian coins. Um, I don't remember what they're called, but yeah. So anyway, so that's my collection. Got more heroes here. One of them I found. It looks like a. Oh, this is a an addict coin. So whenever they hit nine nine months or whatever, this is a prayer they have on it. Anyway. So yeah, so that's my foreign coin and banknote collection. Uh, like or subscribe, and then put in the comments what you, what banknote you like the best. If you have any preferences, or if you want me to try to find any other banknotes, that would be really cool. All right. Well, I'm going to sign out. I'll have to sort these later and then show you guys. But all right. Well. Pretty big collection that I've got. Alright.